I'm from a nonprofit, and we talk about um, how and where we grow is what we work on. And it seems like the topic today is how and where we site federal facilities, because that has a profound effect on how and where we grow as a whole region. Yes, there are great impacts when you bring a federal agency to a developing area. Um, there's uh, you know, benefits, but the impacts are, are also great and have to be considered at all levels. Because the other uh, challenge with federal facilities is, as I often say to people who around the country or who want a facility in a certain place, well, we'll bring a new government-owned building to your, to your community, we'll put it behind 80 or 100 foot setbacks, we'll close it off to the public, we'll take it off the tax rolls, and we'll call that economic development. There has to be a plan in place. I don't think there should be any government investment, whether it's in uh, you know, a federal facility or anything else, unless there's a plan for that area to actually take advantage. The headquarters by itself, which would have been an important change for NOMA, really by itself would not have made NOMA what it is today. It was really the ability to get the train station. We got a twofer, we were able to put ATF uh, in there, help do a metro station, and then something important, and I give a lot of credit to the ATF people, uh, we agreed to put ground floor retail. What we have learned in working with our federal agencies, uh, military or civilian, the number one challenge they have today is, is workforce, whether it's workforce retention or workforce attraction. The socioeconomic landscape of that whole region has now been changed due to this federal government decision.